Hello YouTube, Steam, Reddit, and whomever might watch this video. This is a video regarding a guide or a simplified version on how to improve your gameplay and visuals on Blast Zone 9. It follows three major steps, I and I tweaks, reshade, and NVIDIA control panel. Now these three simple steps can all be done within about 5 to 10, 15 to 10 and 15 minutes if you are any way shape or form able to read and understand basic English using functions such as finding something using control F and so on and so on. If you don't, there's solutions to that as well. We're gonna go over some of the simple stuff first. For example, reshade is gonna be the first thing we're gonna go over. Natural experience pack, I will put it in the description for this and down below in the description uh, links. So you can find that, you can install it. I've made this, it's very simple. There's a few simple solutions to how to use reshade properly and how to install it. So we'll go over the installation real quick. You open up Reshade, you download it from the internet, and then you select your game. You go to your game direction, which is going to be Steam Library, Steam Apps, Common, Bless Online, Binaries, Win64, and you're going to select Bless. Not Bless underscore VE, because that is the battle light launcher, but Bless. Then you make sure it's selected as Direct3D9, and then you're going to be prompted to install several different FXs. The FXs that I suggest installing are the ones you see here. I'm actually going to open these up so, so, so it'll be easier to notice. Um, you go over again to your download location uh, for Steam Library, Steam Apps, Common, Bless Online, Binaries, Win64. Once you actually download all the FXs, it'll create a folder called Reshade Shaders. You can also delete them from here. These are the shaders that I have available. You can use these and you can delete the rest since you won't need them and the problem with having them is that they will be loaded each time you open up reshade, reload reshade or alt tab for long enough. If you alt tab from the game while you have reshade up um, about 15 or 20 minutes out and then you re alt tab in, it will load all the reshade presets. This takes about 5 to 10 seconds if you have a little bit of reshades but if you have all of the FXS files it'll take much longer. For example, this would take about what there's 11 effects to load done within five seconds assuming you have 30 which is usually what it installs if you d deselect the others that would take about 30 to a minute 30 seconds to a minute which is wasted time no one wants no one wanted or, or wants to enjoy a frozen game you don't actually have to touch the presets once they're installed but you can deselect and select some of them for example bloom and lens flare adds a tiny bit of noticeable um, bloom and lens flare unless you're looking at the interface which there it, it's pretty much partying anything that is white will glow like insanely bright you can notice it if I open up the market status and then I disable bloom and lens flare you can look at the buy or for example if I go to account main box and I disable bloom and lens flare you can see the difference um, you can also notice the difference um, in here there's bloom literally on the sliders it's really funny it also reflects back here as well. Um, see? Okay. So Bloom and Lens Flare isn't very noticeable, but it's it's quirky, has its ups and downs. I personally like it because it also affects um, the text. The text um, when you switch uh, different areas is lit up with a bloom effect, which I think is really cool. So we'll just go up here again, because I don't want to fall down. Since we're in an uh, open area, I don't want to be attacked. Moving on. There is HDR, curves, colorfulness, clarity, and so on and so on. Um, adaptive sharpen, you don't have to use it, only if you want to. It kind of sharpens up things, which could interrupt with your anti-aliasing later on. It's kind of hard to notice it from afar. Um, from, from, from zoomed in perspectives and especially it's harder to notice because you're watching through a video but it it is noticeable if you enable or disable it. There's Luma Sharpen which personally really does sharpen up the entire image and the entire game which either looks A really good or B really bad depending on whether or not you like it being sharp. Magic Bloom is uh, not necessarily good or bad. It's optional. As you can see it lights up the action bar and lights up the rest of the areas that are foggy which is actually pretty cool you can see it pretty much lights up the screen a bit um, goes over highlights a bit more uh, and then Technicolor 2 kind of sets up the colors properly it's a color correction field um, and then HDR you can you can touch 
that and kind of play around with how you want it to look like. Obviously, my sweet spot is 1.05. Set it up like this. Reshade, very simple to do. In order to load Reshade, you go to Shift plus F2, and then it'll open up the tutorial. All you gotta do is literally go to Settings, or Home, go to here, and then you press plus, or not press plus, my bad. You, it should already show you that there's a, an INI file, file like this. It's either text or INI, both work. And you load that in, and then you pretty much enjoy the preset. Make sure if you want it to be easier, Put the preset somewhere that you'll remember and have easy access to. You can see this is the effect search path. And these are logs and things that you don't really need to take care of. Statistics and so on. This is reshade in a nutshell. Very easy to use. Uh, it took about five minutes for me to set it up properly. And then I took the pictures and uploaded it for others to see and others to use. You can see the difference pretty clearly here as well in the pictures. Um, it gives everything not, not 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 exactly a lively feeling, but a much more natural feeling as to, for example, having glow coming from the moon and having um, the, the the fire be more uh, intense and so on as well. So actually, Nvidia takes a bit a bit while to load since it's really shitty, but it eventually does. So you go to the control panel, you gotta manage 3D settings. You gotta program settings, not global settings, because you wanna focus specifically on bless. Once it loads, which will take about 20 seconds, make sure you select bless.exe. If you don't have it, same process as reshade. You, you go to the installation path, win 64, and then you select bless.exe, not bless underscore be, because that is the battle light launcher, and Doing anything there will give you nothing. Um, so you'll see right now, once it loads and I press add, you'll see that I have both Bless and the um, Bless Client available and Bless Launcher. You want to make sure you select the Bless Client and not the Bless Launcher. These are the settings you want to use. Time 16 on on. Basically, I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna go down on these and you can um, copy these and uh, make sure you can play with them, play around with them later. Um, if you have a really weak GeForce GPU, like say a 770 or a 680 or something like that, you can actually not use X16 and X8, you can use X8 and X4, anything to your liking. G-Sync probably will not be available to you since it's a monitor technology, so unless you have a monitor that supports G-Sync, you won't be able to see this option. Um, pretty much these are, these are the main settings, uh, make sure you have OpenGL on just in case, over here, make sure it's set to your GPU. Obviously, all of the things that you do, Bless should be off. You, you don't need to do, like, make sure Bless is closed down when you do these. And then last but not least, we have the INI settings. Uh, BL game, go into config, you have engine, and then you also have, um, where is it? Should be in the other one which is a binary engine config base system settings yeah these two these are the main ones that you're going to touch so you're going to go over i'm going to go over the reddit real quick and you show you something if you type in ini in reddit oh that been the wrong thing it will find about 15 different guides for you to use let's go to the top top three Base engine, fixing your FOV, turning off chat sensor, these, these, and these, and these. These are the main ones that you want to use. Keep in mind, over here, pull size, don't go over 40, uh, 4096. Because Direct uh, 3D9 doesn't register anything above that, and it will just revert back to the old pull size, which will just worsen your FPS again. So put that maximum 4096. Uh, if you have more gigs, I have a 1080, which has 8 gigs, and I still don't use 8. I use 4. In memory margin, since I have 8, I will be using 10, uh, 1024. If you have more than 4 cores, still use only 4, because the game probably can't read more than 4 cores. I had, I had it set to 8, and it didn't really matter, and then I set it to 4, and then suddenly my uh, CPU started being strained, and I got more FPS from this. Uh, these I actually didn't disable, 
because it really does mat matter to your um, experience from the game. It really does uh, change the values of the appearance of the game to a point where you won't have almost any shadows, you won't have any fog, you won't have any um, static decals and any light environment shadows or shafts, which sucks. If you like immersive gameplay, do not touch with these. You may experience a better FPS input if you if you don't have these on, like if you actually make these falls. But if your rig you feel is strong enough, or if you feel the game is playable with these on, keep them on. Uh, again, same thing. It's pretty much the same settings in a different... Someone made a new one. Keep, people keep making these ANI guides. This is nice. Someone made a screenshot. Um, he's made a program. I will actually link this as well because this could save some people's lives. So for example, here you would have this as false or up, and then you'll have vertical mouse fix. And then FOV and ultra wide fix, normal FOV, you can set that to whatever you want. Um, and then you have these set to true or false or whatever you want. And then these are to false. Um, so these, for example, are what I would disable. And then these are what I would keep enabled. Maybe false and motion blur. So these are the INI settings. Uh, if you want to do them manually, just open up these two files and just Control F and look for the stuff that you need to do. So, for example, go to base, go to BL Engine or Base Engine or whatever you want to do. You find it that it's, it's false, as I, like I've already done it. It's five minutes. And then, since we've covered both Nvidia, both INI settings, and both Reshade. This sums up the guide as to how to get a better looking bless online. Now I'm just gonna again make sure you guys notice how the game looks with and without reshade. This is without reshade, very bland, very dead, and this is with reshade, very alive, very natural, kind of feels more uh, like an MMORPG, kind of feels more like you're in the area where you should be. If you're in a desert, it will make the desert look a bit more hot, a bit more summery, a bit more into the fact that it should look like that. If you're in the green fields, it'll pump up the greens, the dark greens, make you feel a bit more like you're actually in a forest or whatever. If you're in the mountains, uh, stones will be become will become a bit more stony, <laughs> I guess. Uh, the, 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 the saturation values will increase, the cracks will become a bit more noticeable, which really adds up to the game's atmosphere. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to leave uh, a comment if you want more videos regarding Bless Online. Subscribe if you like the video. Leave a thumbs up. I love this game um, for its core features and its core gameplay. Um, and so I will be continuing to play it whether or not people say it's shitty or not because it is my experience. And so I like this game even though it's seven years old and it has failed three releases this is the fourth one. It might fail this one. It's what, 30 bucks? I've spent 40 hours on this game. It's worth my money. Um, so thank you guys for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you've learned something for it. And I really hope it has helped both your gameplay and your visual appearance and aesthetics from watching the video.